Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a video tutorial on a double compartment gift box and it's in the shape of a vintage telephone. This would have been a coin operated telephone and I got this idea by watching the video by Christian's Crafty Adventures and I'm going to leave a link to her tutorial in the description box below. This is the mini version. She has a larger version as well but I just made the mini version and as you can see it has a storage compartment here on the bottom. It's a really good size as well and if you lift this up have an even larger compartment here. Yeah. If you would like to learn how to make your own vintage telephone double compartment gift box, then stick with me and I'll show you how. Are the main pieces that we need for the gift box. We've got a piece that is cut at 12 by 5.5 and, and this is a cardstock. I've got another piece that is eight and an eighth by six and three eighths. This piece measures five and a half by one and three quarters. And this measures two and a half by one and three quarters. We'll start with the largest piece, which is the phone base. Place it in the scoreboard on the long side, the 12 inch side. I'm going to score this at one and a half inches and at five and a quarter inches. And just flip it round and do the same on the other side. So one and a half and five and a quarter. Now on the short side which is the five and a half inch side score this at one and a half inches on both sides. So we'll score it here at one and a half and we'll just flip it over like so and score this at one and a half. So there is your phone base. This is the coin base. This is the 8 and 1 eighth by 6 and 3 eighths. And on this long side, you want to score at 1 and 3 eighths. So that's 1, 2, 3 eighths. At 3 and 3 eighths. At 4 and 3 quarters. And at six and three quarters. Then on the short side, scored at one and three eighths on both ends here, well, sides. One and three eighths. That's the coin base. The phone handle is this five and a half by one and three quarters. And on the five and a half side, the long side, score it at half an inch and at two and a half inches. And then just turn it round and repeat that. So half an inch and two and a half inches. And then I want to score this at half an inch and turn it and do it again. There we are. That looks better. <laughs> this is for the connector. It measures two and a half by one and three quarters on the longer side, the two and a half side. Score it at half an inch, at one inch. So essentially you're scoring it every half inch, one and a half inches and two inches. So again, that's half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two. And then turn it and score it at half an inch 
on each side. And that's your scoring complete. Bring the foam base in first. We'll do some cutting on here. We're going to make some tabs. So we want to come up these score lines here. And just cut a little wedge out to form that tab. You want to do it all the way down, like so. Okay. We'll be able to cut that score line out of there as well. Now we're at it. This one. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. To assemble this, I'm going to fold and burnish your score lines. Gluing this together, the sides like that, and then we'll fit this around first to see that it's going to be squared, and then we'll glue those down. So let's get these tabs done. Use the glue. You could use hot glue gun if you wanted. Some people do like that. I'm just going to hold that together there for a moment. And I'm going to do this side. video that I watched she didn't actually map and layer any of this but I am going to add some layers to these sides and to the front as well she had a pattern paper or card that she was using so what I'm going to do now is bring these in Glue these tabs in place. And the by layering it's also going to help strengthen it because this is not a particularly heavy cardstock. It's a good quality, it's a, the American craft cardstock, but it's about 216 GOs in, so it'd be better if I had like maybe a 300. But alas, I don't. So, we'll just add to it by adding the layers in. And you could also actually uh, put a piece in the inside here to strengthen it. So then this is going to fold over like that. And this is going to be your closure for your lid here. Okay. Finish that again. And I'm also going to add a little bit of a thumb pull on here. Just to make it a little easier to get in and out of this. I've got this little punch here. 
So I'll just come about not quite the whole half, a whole halfway down. Something like that. And then Bring this in to make sure that it's going to fit nicely, like so, and then I can glue these sides down. This makes it a little easier to fit this if you kind of do a, a trial run there, a dry run. You can go in and give that a nice press. And do the other side. Essentially, you're gluing it in situ so that you're assured of a very good fit. And that just helps it to open a little easier. Go on those sides. That is the phone box itself then. That's the box, the gift box on top. And then the coin box is going to form the bottom gift box. So for this we're going to do much the same as we did for the foam base or fold on these score lines give them a good burnish and then we can cut the tabs just like we did for the other piece We can glue this together now. These sides go in just like we did with the other piece. So we'll square that up. another thumb core in here. This is going to open on the bottom, or the other one opens on the top. to fold and burnish this. Okay. Spinning those sides there. And then make 
some tabs. So we'll just free up these tabs here. Get it from this side. here as well. Just want to check that. So that's going to fold in like that. I think you can actually just take one of these off. So it will fold up like so. So, for this I'm going to just create a, a tab here at the end. Probably should have done that with the connector as well, but it came out alright. Right, so these I can place inside. I use this glue here. I can spread that out to the edges. That helps it to dry faster as well. When you spread it like that. Okay, so we hold that in place. to bring these tabs in so you'll end up with a, a rectangle here it's going to go in like that Bring this onto the outside if you like, because this will be attached to the side. I can do it like that actually, don't even need to worry about that too much. Glue this down. Okay, so that is going to be for our handset for the, the handle. And now we have this little connector here. So we've got all these score lines to fold. And we'll cut the tabs out as well. I've got glue all over my fingers here. So let's start. the same on this side this is just going to
pulled like you would do a cube. It's going to fold over on itself like that. And again, you can put that up there like so. And then you're going to fold these in like that. Actually, I think you can get rid of one of those. Let's see here. You fold that in like this. That will actually work. So it's going to keep that good and strong like that. So that's the little connector. That's how that's going to go together. So let's get this glued in place. That's nearly done. We just have these last bits. So that's going to be completely closed up like that. It's pretty strong as well. For my layers, I have a piece that measures three and five eighths by two and three eighths and that's going to go onto the foam base and then on the sides there will be pieces that measure one and three eighths by three and a half so those are going to go there and over here on the bottom piece for the the coin base we've got this piece which is three and three eighths by one and seven eighths and then for the sides we have two pieces one and three quarters by one and one quarter and then I've got another piece of the same size as this the two and three eighths by three and five eighths for the back which can be for a message so I'm going to get these glued down and keeping in mind the direction of the paper. So this is going to be the box that opens at the top. So I'm going to bring in my quick grab glue for this. Of course you could just leave yours completely plain if you like. And not even add any of these layers or maybe have a solid color so that yours looks more true to life for one of these old phones but just thought I'd have a little play of course you can make as whimsical as you like so there's our first piece and then for the sides I'll have them go in that direction. Then for the coin base, and this is going to be attached like this actually so that yes like this so that this can open when you lie it put it down you can for that I've got a couple of pieces that I've already mounted with some mirror card that these are one and a half inches 
the blackest one and a half and then the the mirror card is one and a quarter and then we'll have these two on the front and then we'll have another two that'll go onto the back like that so put to place this one here just that a bit of a spread I can overhang that like that I'll do the same on this end Turn it to the other side and we can place the plain black one. So it'll be approximately the same like that. That time to dry a little bit. That is our handle or our handset. We have a piece to connect it, which is this, and that is going to go onto the side here, like that. And then it's going to get connected to the side of the the box. I'm going to get this together first. So we have, remember the opening at the top and the opening at the bottom under here. So these are going to be glued together. eyeball that. Hold that in place for a moment. You could use red liner tape here as well as your glue gun. For this handle, I am going to attach that with some of this red liner tape. Attach it. So we'll use this side. on there as well and then I'm just going to put that on there and we'll get attached here and then if you have like a little coiled um, hairband or um, grip something like that you could actually attach that under here and then glue it to the side so that it would look like the cord 
for the phone, but I don't have anything like that, so I'm just going to leave that off. So I'm going to use my red line of tape again. Make a bit of that off. And place it here. is going to be glued to the side okay. Just lift that up you can kind of rest it where you like I want to give this enough clearance there so like that. Okay, and now we can do the the rotary dial. Two circles. The one in white is two inches, and the black is one and three quarters. I'll just glue those together. Place that in the center. That's going to go here. And then I have some little circles as well, which I can use for the Little rotary part. Now, a phone would have, of course, you know, the letters, you know, A, B, C, or one, two, three. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that. And you would have ten of each of these. So I've got these that are cut at three eighths of an inch. Six, seven. I think I've got eight of these, should have. So that should be enough really. And what I'll do with these is just glue them around like so. Also I've got another piece for the center it's going to have there like that so let's yeah, let's get that down first Is the impression of the dial there. That will go on the front here like that. Cut that out of the little card. I do have some of that left. So I can just Something like that. There we are, like that. Okay. Just a little glue on the end there. And then place that across like that. That's the little stop for where you put your finger. <laughs> There will be lots of people who won't even know what that is. <laughs> but let's see. Before I do that, I'm also going to place 
the bit up here at the top. I have a just a scrap piece of the black cardstock. So I think I'm just going to use that to attach here. And I want that the same width as this. So let's see, I've got a stuff here. Let's just mark on there. Cut that out quickly. Here. I'm also going to angle it just a bit. So, what I'll do is I'll come in. half an inch and half an inch there that should yep let's go down this side here then also half an inch now these are just sort of extra bits that I put on what I'm going to do is go from those two marks there cut them at an angle like that and then for this I've got a half an inch, I've got one of those three eighths still, and there we are. So we can have the little slots for the coins to go in. little piece of mirror card left. I'll just place this strip along there like that. Snip off the excess on the ends. And that can go on the top here. Can do the same along there. Frame it a little better. I use a bit of foam tape to attach this. 
that there. Let's see. Should have some. I've got here two pieces. One is two and an eighth by one and five eighths. Just going to go here. And then here where the coins would come out is one by one and five eighths, which I'm going to put there. Also put a little place for the coins to come out. this sticker that says hello I thought that would be absolutely perfect and I'm going to just put it on a bit of card here I've got a, got a circle that's been cut out and I think that one is an inch Searching for some other bits, like these little pearls here, I did find this little bit of cord. And I thought that actually might make a nice little cord for the phone. So I'm just going to put that down with some red liner tape. I'm not too bothered if it's red. Attach that. Stick it in here. Place this bit right here. Let's see how much do we need. Cut Not that much off, should be all right. I can save that other piece for something else. And I do have, I think, another red. Here, the circle. I think I'll attach that there. Let me just try the glue. Another one here that I could put on the back of that and just sort of sandwich that in there. Okay. Then I'm going to attach it here. The side, so I'll we'll have that go up there like that. I don't think that's going to interfere too much if it dangles down there. No, yeah, that's fine. And then 
for the dial here, I have these sticky flat back pearls. I have enough in this red to go round. is your vintage telephone with the double compartment for any goodies like for example let's put some of this jewelry in here i would put anything heavier in the bottom here i think that will be just fine and then lighter weight things like maybe even, you know, chocolate, something like that. I've got these little paper roses, and I thought that would be fine. And it still stands erect, stays closed. And I think it's really, really cute. But there is a large version of this same gift box, double gift box. And I'll leave you the link to Christian's YouTube channel so that you can take a look and then you can uh, always click on the link that she gives you for the larger version as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own retro or vintage telephone gift box a double gift box which is always nice to have as you can see and it does take a whole lot of materials you know just some 12 by 12 cardstock and any other little bits and pieces that you want as I said go over and look at Christian's uh, video which I'm linking and you can see how she made hers as well it looks different, but the same. It just depends on how you want to decorate it. And it's great for any occasion, of course. So, thank you so much, once again, to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And I do appreciate every single one of you. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so today. Until we meet again for another video tutorial, stay safe and crafty hugs. Bye.